There are new efforts to increase Michigan's minimum wage ahead of the state Supreme Court ruling. The court will determine if a political workaround that gutted a 2018 ballot initiative that was approved by voters was constitutional. Our L. Myers joins us now from the state Supreme Court in Lansing with a look at the case and responses from three sides of the argument. A case from 2018 is at the center of a decision that should be coming down the pike in the coming weeks from the Michigan Supreme Court that could have a major impact on wages in our state. There are so many states about to follow the leadership of Michigan because of this Supreme Court decision. And the only question is not whether tipped workers are going to get one fair wage because they're about to get one fair wage here in Michigan for the first time since emancipation. The only question is, Will the legislature leave the wage at 12? According to supporters of the change, that 2018 ballot initiative would have raised the state's minimum wage to $12 per hour. But lawmakers at the time used a political strategy named amend and adopt that diluted the proposal. The Michigan Supreme Court will weigh in on whether that move by the legislature was constitutional. If not, low wage workers could be getting a raise. We went from $0 in 1938 for tipped workers to $2.13 an hour at the federal level for tipped workers and just over $3 here in the great state of Michigan. Michigan has been one of 43 states that persists with this legacy of slavery, but that is about to change. A change like this is welcome news for some workers, but restaurant owners are one group worried about the wider impact of this change. If you're going to see the elimination of the tip credit now, you're going to see dramatic fallout. We've polled the industry and we understand that one in six full service restaurants will just shut down. And we think 40 to 60,000 restaurant jobs would be lost in very short order. One advocate for tipped workers reiterated that concern. We could be losing upwards of at least 30,000 jobs across Michigan inside of restaurants. And that doesn't just mean the jobs only go away. To get that level of damage, economic damage, it means whole restaurants are going to close because they simply can't operate on that economic model. Reporting in Lansing, I'm Elle Myers, CBS News, Detroit.